Hey diggers, we're finally at the Herkimer uh, KOA, uh, that floating river or whatever they call it, Lazy River is right behind us, and uh, I'm setting up, and I think it's going to be a good trip, because I just found me a penny, zippity doo -dah. it's a shield, but it is what it is, it's a penny. All right. Oh, no, it's not a shield. It is a memorial. It's an 80s model. Very neat, very neat. All right. All right, Mr. Lincoln. Bring me some luck. Okay, guys, I got to finish setting up. All right. See ya. We made it. We're at the Hergamer Diamond Mine. I don't think you want to watch me uh, try to break rocks. Or try to find pockets. I really don't even want to do all that work. It's not much fun doing it, let alone just watching. So, I'll cut back in when I start finding some stuff. Uh, I got a couple uh, just pieces of rocks. So, uh, we'll see if I can get a uh, pocket open. I already found a nice couple spots. And uh, I'm going to work on one of them here. And uh, hopefully uh, today I'll get it open. If not, maybe tomorrow. But uh, either your We'll see what we can find. We'll see what we can find. All right, guys. All right. We'll see you. Well, it's busy today, dudes. We got some. I'll show you them at the wrap-up. Unless I find something crazy good, then I'll show you then. But, all right, guys. See you. All right, guys, biggest tip I can give you. You come here with the right equipment, you can open up pockets. You know that. You can look those up anywhere on YouTube. But uh, uh, just for general rock hunting, and uh, unfortunately my wedge is broke, so I'm down to just busting lumps. You want to find the ugliest stones possible. You see this one right here? All pitted. You even see some calcite deposits on the outside. That's the one you want to bust open. Not this one, it's nice and layered, it looks real solid. You don't want to break that open. You can see a bunch of different ones. There's another one over there, it's got some calcite deposit right at the top. You see that right in the middle of the screen on the pitch. You break those suckers open, and you're going to get lots of shiny stuff. And unfortunately, what's in there right now broke, so... Those will try to be extracted, but they're not really uh, super good. That one on the bottom is nice and shiny right there, though, huh? Catch the sun just right. You can get some nice glint off of it, but it is what it is. It busted. So, there's another one right down in there. So, all right, I got to break more rocks. See ya. Hey, diggers. This is mine number two. Day number two. Uh, right across from uh, the Herkimer uh, KOA. Uh, it's a hard, hard work. You don't even want to see me. I look like I just got out of a swimming pool with jeans and a shirt on. So, with that said, I did get me one really cool one. You want to see it? Come on. You know you do. There you go. I got a bag uh, in my bucket full of them. Hey diggers, alright, here it is, the final wrap up from the Herkimer Hall. You can see some glinting lights all over the place. Alright, here is day one. Um, the big rocks are just there to hold the paper down. Um, I believe most of those came off of day two, but uh, they are pretty. So, you can see all the loose stones right there in the middle. Um, the graph is uh, five millimeters on the paper, so nothing is majorly big. This is probably the, well, this is the biggest one I got on the first day. And uh, if we can get the light just right, hopefully the camera can catch that. It does have a rainbow in there. It's a very pretty crystal. It's uh, around 15 millimeters, maybe 20. Um, 
and uh, we're looking at possibly doing some stuff with the crystals. Maybe we'll talk about that later. Getting close to my 200 subs. Ooh, boy. Um, so we got about uh, 15 uh, jewelry grade uh, crystals uh, the first day. Um, you can see the gray or the uh, dirty, darker ones. I kind of like these. These are all double terminated, um, but they're just dark. They're very pretty crystals. Very pretty. Still got nice quite a shine on them, as you can see. Um, just not very large. A um, few pieces of odds and ends, and a lot of little tiny ones on the first day. Wasn't a lot of people there on the first day. I had the place to myself. Uh, I was just trying to break pockets open, but uh, that didn't work out too well for me. So at one point, I did start looking on uh, the ledges, and that's where you can find a lot of these little tiny pieces. Just look on the ledges around. Uh, it's one of the cool things that the little kids can do if they're uh, too small to start hitting rocks. Um, and they'll find them. You get a bunch of those, you put them in a little globe, you got yourself a beautiful necklace. That's day one. Very fun day one. Again, not a lot of people there, so um, I got a little bit more finds on the first day. Second day was very busy, but I still did find some stuff. And of course, this is after my wedges broke, so I couldn't uh, go after the pockets. Uh, but the loose stones, still got quite a bit loose stones. A couple of them a little bigger than uh, um, the majority of the first day. This one is a, a very nice uh, example. Again, very small, but very clear. Hopefully, uh, the video is doing this uh, crystal justice. Probably not. You might be able to see a little calcite inside. Or not calcite. Uh, the charcoal type. Uh, the dark. The calcite is the white stuff. Uh, the crystals will grow in both the dark and the white. And uh, again, found a variety of colors. Some darker than others. This one is a very nice crystal. But it is uh, very dark. And it uh, does have some very... Uh, orangish color to it also but it is double terminated and fairly small enough where you almost lose them so be very careful with them put that one back down before we do lose it and uh, again quite a few smaller ones again probably about 15 or so uh, jewelry grade but nothing really big uh, the best ones are right there in front um, those are very uh, clear, uh, very shiny, very see-through, if you will. Diamond looking. All right, second day best find would be this big guy up here in the matrix. As you can see, there is some of the calcite there. Um, actually, uh, one of these little guys over here, I believe, here, if you look at the corner right here, at all that white calcite, you might see a glimpse of shiny. There is a little tiny crystal trying to grow in there, which probably won't anymore since uh, it's out of its natural environment. So right there, right in the middle of the screen, the little crystal uh, coming out of the calcite. So the crystals will grow out of the white and the dark uh, part of the matrix, if you will. But uh, this one's, uh, again, probably a little bigger than the first loose one. This one's about uh, 20 to 25 uh, uh, millimeters. Um, does have a little tail on it, if you see. And uh, it does have a bit of a crack on the top of the crystal, but that happened a long, long time ago, before I came around. You can't clean that off. That's uh, pretty much embedded. Um, so... Very nice tail on that one. Um, also, it's got a lot of shiny on that little tiny crystal inside there. That is a very nice crystal in there, deeply embedded, so wouldn't even try to get that out, but it all adds to the character of the rock. Um, very nice finds, very nice finds. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't get into the pockets, so uh, we couldn't get into the big, big stuff, but uh, we found a ton of little stuff. All right, and some of it even nicer than what I would think I would find. I do love this one. So, what, 
What's next? Well, you guys all know we're heading to Chazzy. If you don't, you know now. We're going up to Pound the Ground. And uh, between now and then, I got a couple things planned. I'm doing some exploring, and uh, who knows what we're going to come up with. Uh, I heard there used to be some giants around some of these areas that I know. Seriously, giants. So I might actually go look for them. Okay, guys, stay tuned. You never know what we're going to find when we just keep digging life, do you? You never know. Awesome. All right. Enjoy, guys. See ya. One last thing, diggers. You remember this, this little shoe buckle. If you've been watching my channel, just dug it in the dog yard not too long ago. That's the dogs. And uh, I, it's a first. I'm very excited. It's not super old. It's uh, uh, early 1900s, maybe up to the mid-1900s. But stay tuned. Stay tuned. Because that little shoe buckle has a partner. Woohoo! All right. Another first. How do you get a first on first? Someone tell me how to explain that. All right. Got to go. See ya.